Well, the Virginia Cavaliers men's basketball team played the role of survive and advance in the ACC tournament last night. UVA trailed Boston College by as a 10 in last night's quarterfinal game. They came back to beat the Eagles in overtime to advance in to tonight's semifinal game. Sports director Jermaine Farrell and Ryan Moy recap last night's action. Well, hello everyone. I tell you what, last night here at the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C., Ryan, it was a classic between Boston College, the 11th seed, playing their third game in three days, mm -hmm. taking on the Virginia Cavaliers, and in the end, it went to overtime, and the Cavaliers pulled it out mm -hmm. to get ready for today's semifinal match against NC State. Oh, no, and this one was a crazy game just to begin with. I mean, the fact that it was, it seemed like Virginia was struggling all throughout the first half because they didn't really have an answer for Boston College. Boston College was consistently finding the hoop. But then all of a sudden, it just kind of turned just a little bit. In the second half, they were able to catch up. And then, of course, there was that dagger that sent it all the way into OT. And yes, overtime. That was a phenomenal game. It was one of the toughest. We already said earlier that it was probably going to be a struggle for the Cavaliers. I think this game kind of proved it right there. And it was very physical. And in fact, like you mentioned, for Boston College, mm -hmm. Mr. Post yes. was the man doing his thing. But then I tell you what was the biggest key to the game, Ryan, too, when they put Jordan Minor on Post, oh, absolutely. shut that thing down. Mm -hmm. And it was the defense, the calling card that UVA under Tony Bennett's been known for, defense, defense, mm -hmm. defense, and it showed up in that overtime. Well, when you have the ACC Defensive Player of the Year on your squad, I mean, he's the back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Year. And then you also have another guy in Ryan Dunn. Unfortunately, Ryan Dunn did have to go out because he got into foul trouble, but Reese Speakman was able to step up big time. And you know what? Defense does win games. And let's hear from the Cavaliers. They talk about we go in their locker room. It was a happy locker room. Let's talk to the Cavaliers about getting it done, getting the win to advance to tonight's semifinal in the ACC tournament. I mean, you can see me. I was struggling with a post. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I mean, that man's big. But um, like you said, Jay Money just stepped in and did a big thing for us. You know, he was locking him down, um, making it hard for him. Um, and we were just able to just strap in, you know, just be, just do what TBI has to do, be in the pack and be ready, ready defensively. Uh, I mean, it felt good just getting stops from my team. I think one thing that we prided ourselves on was getting scores and stops. And I thought that I did a good job trying to make it as tough as him as possible, tough on him as possible, and just get as many stops as I could so we can go back on the other end and get some uh, buckets. I mean, yeah, I think, like, you know, there was this extra motivation to buckle down and get some stops. I feel like, and that especially showed the deep in the overtime, you know, they didn't score for. I don't know how long in that, and you know we were getting buckets. It was, you know, that was great to see. I feel like we we work on that practice, you know, being in those scenarios, score stop situations, and it just played out perfectly today. I'm so proud of everybody. So Ryan, it was a happy locker room, happy play. They got it done in that game again. BC led by as many as 10. BC got off to a hot start, but then UVA settled things down and they yeah. got it done. So now we shift the page to tonight's semifinal game, which will tip off roughly the same time as last night's game, 9.30. Mm -hmm. Virginia facing NC State, a team that they split with in the regular season, mm -hmm. of course. NC State's coached by Lynchburg native Kevin Keats. Oh, well, we saw that Wolfpack squad just completely dismantle Duke. It wasn't, it, it was so wild to be able to watch that happen because they were so aggressive. They consistently were going to the hole. Duke almost looked a little bit discombobulated because they were almost in shock that this was happening to them. But the Wolfpack just continuously was attacking and unbelievably aggressive all night. And that's how they were able to come up with the win against the Blue Devils. And then now look where they are. And so when we look at the ACC semifinals, you're going to have the first game, 7 o'clock tonight. North Carolina, the top seed, taking on the fourth seed, Pitt. Pitt in need of a win to keep their NCAA tournament hopes alive. North Carolina clearly in the NCAA tournament. And then, of course, the second game, Virginia, the three seed, taking on 10th seed, NC State. And for Virginia, you still probably want another win because, again, you don't want to lose. You want to make it to the championship game to solidify their NCAA tournament resume. Well, you, what we did also see was the fact that we talked about earlier. The offense did struggle a lot. And you know what? When you're going up against a team that is constantly able to find the bucket, I mean, defense is going to have to be key for this as well. If you're able to come up with a stop and then make that transition and get those 50-50 balls and, and find the bucket once more, hey, 
you might come up on top. So we'll see what happens. And one big thing for Virginia, I feel that they probably need to improve the free throws because a lot of points were left on the table, oh but in goodness, the end it yes. didn't really factor into it. But yeah, you definitely want to hit the free throws as 66 to 60 Virginia mm -hmm. advancing to the ACC semifinals for today's game against NC State. That'll tip off right around 9.30 mm -hmm. while the Virginia Cavaliers, they're going to definitely need the rest. But the interesting thing is for NC State, it's going to be their fourth game in four days. Yep. So when you look at it, Virginia will face another team that's got a lot of mileage already in the right. ACC tournament. Oh, absolutely. So it's going to be a good one. And you know what? Hey, you never know what happens. It is all about the March Madness, correct? And it's been madness here. And, of course, the Virginia Cavaliers, probably the, the win, they were in the Washington Wizards locker room, probably the greatest win the Washington Wizards locker room has ever Don't seen. say that out loud for <laughs> some Wizards fans that are standing right next to you, which is absolutely true. But it is what it is. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, I tell you what, we're going to have complete coverage of this, so stay tuned right here to WFXR. We got you covered like a blanket from the ACC tournament, Capital One Arena here in Washington, D.C. For my man, 100 grand, NDC native Ryan Moy. Absolutely. I'm Jermaine Farrell, WFXR Sports. The leaders of one.